Hi, I'm Pierre Escobas from Riviera Macro. Um, today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to shoot orchids and do focus stacking on wild orchids. Uh, this is a good time now because uh, around me there is a lot of orchids starting to bloom in the south of France. You can see the patch uh, of forest and the little prairie next to me. This is a very good uh, patch for wild orchids. I'm surrounded actually by, by orchids uh, right, right now. And so it's just across the road from my house, very convenient, and we're going to do a little uh, session on shooting these orchids with different techniques. Okay, so I'm going to set up my shot and set up my equipment. First of all, I have to be very careful. This is a patch with many, many orchids. You can see them here, 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 everywhere. So I'm very careful in not stepping on, on the plants. Um, I'm going to set up with a tripod. I don't normally use a tripod for macro photography. I like to be more mobile, but this is a bit special because I intend to do focus stacking. And so I need a very stable position, the camera not moving to be able to pile uh, the, the shots uh, later on. <coughs> so they stay in, the, in the, same, the same framing. So I'm gonna be using my tripod Surrey carbon fiber travel tripod which has come with me to many many places around the world very reliable very good and I remove the center column so it can go down to the ground okay um, so I'm almost at the same height as the as the flowers for the pictures I'm going to use my Nikon D800 uh, it's a full frame camera and I fitted it today with the Irix 150 uh, macro lens. So why did I choose this? Iris was very kind, the company Iris was very kind to loan me this lens for a while. Uh, for the, the season I'm testing the lens and it's an excellent uh, optics. Uh, I'm going to use it for two reasons. I want to separate the flowers from their background. As you can see, they're all close to each other. The background is very close. There are gr there's grass, there's other flowers. So with a shorter focal length, like a 55 or 90 millimeter macro, it would be possible to do the shots. It would be much more difficult to isolate the plants from the background. I'll have more depth of field with those lenses. Um, so I choose a longer focal length for this because it will allow me uh, to to get the plants in focus while having the background off focus and therefore disappear and give me a nice bokeh. Uh, another reason is that this lens has a very nice focus ring, very precise, which is going to be very useful in doing the stacking. And the third reason is by using a longer focal length, I can be away from the plants and have a bit of more working distance, which is going to be more convenient for lighting situations that we're going to be uh, doing later on. Okay, so I'm just going to fit the camera on the tripod. And that's it. Okay, now something else about stability. Um, here I'm on, with my tripod. The orchid I shot before was about 15 to 20 centimeters high, so this was good, the height was good. I didn't have any background, okay? Um, now I wanna shoot this orchid here, which is much lower. So it means I have to angle down my camera, and therefore I will see the background, I will see the ground, I will see the grass, and that's not what I want. So I need to get the camera lower. So in such a case, you can use another trick. I'm going to remove the camera from the tripod, set it aside carefully, and I'm going to be using a bin bag, okay? Uh, this is just a sock fitted with, the, I mean, filled with lentils. And uh, I'll just set it up on the ground and put my camera on the sock. This is super convenient. I recommend you always have this in your bag when you do macro shoots because you can go really low on the ground. It's very, very stable, doesn't move. And especially with the remote, now I can shoot my orchid at the ground level. Of course, uh, the, this camera doesn't have a flip screen, so it's a little bit more difficult to focus. You have to go down like this 
and focus your your length okay now i mean focus but i have a very nice shot of my orchid and now i have also a nice bouquet because i don't see the rock or the grass uh, below the orchid so i'm just gonna do the same shoot adjust my focus shoot etc to get my uh, series of shots So I've changed locations. Uh, I, there's another patch of orchids, which I like very much here. Uh, I'm going to shoot this flower here. And as you can see, it's very bright now. It's about 11 o'clock. The sun is right in front of my face. Well, these are the lighting conditions. And actually it's good because what I want to do here is actually have light coming from the back of the orchid. So it will outline the shape and the hairs, etc. But at the same time, it's a difficult lighting situation because there's a lot of difference between the back and the front of the orchid and uh, it's going to be difficult to process it uh, because it's going to be dark and, and bright at the same time. So I'm going to compensate for that by bringing back light to the front and filling the shadows with some light. The easiest way to do that is actually to use this. It's a five-in-one uh, reflector. I'm going to use the silver side uh, to bounce back a lot of light on my flower and this is actually very simple i just put it here the sun's here and i'm going to angle it a bit so that the light bounces back nicely on my flower now the front is very well lit and it's going to be just perfect um, to be convenient to i'm going not going to hold it uh, with my hand so because i need to my hands to focus i'm just going to use another tripod and a little clamp and do this like that. Okay, now just perfect. I can now shoot my series and uh, continue focusing and still do a focus stack on this particular flower. So we're in a very different lighting situation right now. I've decided to shoot this orchid right here, right in front of my camera, uh, but we're in the shadows and I don't have enough light. It's a bit dull. Um, I can't bounce the light from the sun because the sun right now is just over my shoulder. So I can't use the reflector to bounce light on the flowers. So I need another source of light to brighten the colors, give me more contrast. So I could use flash. I do that often in macro, but um, this time I've decided to try and use LED uh, light panels. Uh, I'm going to be using these Quadralite uh, lights. They're called the MyLED 198 RGB lights. They're very uh, nice uh, LED panels. They've been uh, kindly loaned to me by the Quadralite company. And they're very thin, very light, uh, rechargeable, so I don't need to carry batteries, which is a big plus. And they are quite bright, and so very, very convenient to use. I've got two, and I'm going to set them up right in front of my flower like this. Okay, and you can see the light here. And I'm going to put them on small gorilla tripods uh, so I can have my hands free. Um, why use LEDs instead of flash? This is another advantage if you want to do both uh, stills and video. Um, so I have continuous light for video as well. So I can do uh, a series of uh, images for my stack and I can also shoot a few seconds of video if I need to. So with something I couldn't do with a flash. So I'm going to install the lights on each side of the, the, the flower, um, putting them on the tripod like this. And I like Gorilla Pods, it's very convenient for macro. Just to turn the light on and position them about here on each side. I've got the second one here ready. Okay. And it's gonna go here on the right side, like this. Okay. So notice one thing, as I said before, I'm using the 150 millimeter lens because it give more, gives me more working distance. And in this case, you can see why, because the distance here is about 30 centimeters bef between the lens and the subject, which gives me a lot of space to put my lights. Uh, if I was using a smaller focal length, I wouldn't have the distance uh, needed to put the lights, it would be very crowded. So that's very convenient. It's, another, it's, a, it's really a reason why um, the 150 millimeter is a good focal length to use with this kind of shot, okay? So I'm all set. I just have to verify the position of my lights. Okay, they seem to be okay. 
like this. And my camera is in light view right now. So I'm just checking my focus and that's it. I can shoot my series of uh, images now for the stack and I may also do a few seconds of video at the same time. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please you know, send questions below and see you for the next session. Bye-bye. Okay.